What if this happens? Oh, no, I said that and then the next thing you know I'll have. Is your mind not shutting up because it's full of worrisome thoughts, then this quick EFT tapping is for you. Hi, I'm Heather. I'm an EFT practitioner, life coach, and a yoga instructor. <laughs> And today we are going to be tapping on clearing worry. So right now, you're probably worrying about something or another, okay? And we are just going to clear this up. We're going to make this quick. We're going to make this fun and easy so that at the end of this video, you feel a little bit calmer. First of all, just take a deep breath in. Okay, it's okay. And exhale. You're here. You've arrived. All's good in the world. We are going to begin by tapping on the side of the hand. So just start, follow along, repeat after me. If you, don't, if you don't know what EFT is, it's okay. Just jump into the party and let's go. Just repeat after me. I am so worried right now. I don't know how to get out of this. Anytime I have a moment to myself, All I do is worry. And there's a part of me that says, oh, well, this is you curring. This is just you planning. This is just making sense of this crazy world. But it's making me exhausted. It's making me anxious. And if, if I could pay someone to just, you know, pull out all these worrying thoughts, I absolutely would. So even though today I feel like a worry wart and I can't stop overthinking and worrying. I choose to love and forgive myself. And anyone else who might be involved in this worrying. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Let it go. Okay, how are you feeling now? Maybe, you know, feel a bit tingly. Ooh, are we ready for the full EFT sequence? Like I said, this is going to be quick. So, no time to waste. Top of the head. Let's go. I don't want to waste another second worrying. Did you know that people spend, on average, five years of their life worrying? The average person spends two hours a day worrying. Maybe it's more for me. But the truth is, if it won't matter in five years, why waste five min minutes on that? Or seconds? Part of me worries to keep myself sane. It's a coping mechanism. When something happens, I try to make sense of it in my head. I create worst case scenarios just in case that happens. Like a labyrinth, I go through every possible scenario. I go over things that happened in the past just in case I miss something. I overanalyze, I've got a hundred solutions, but also a hundred problems. 
and it's starting to affect my mental health. It's starting to affect me emotionally. Maybe I'm struggling to sleep at night. Maybe I'm addicted to the news. I just seem to want to add to these worrying thoughts and feelings. Because when I do have a moment of peace, I think, how long will this last? It's not safe for me to shut off or be calm. Because what if people need me? And a lot of people I talk to worry as well. And it's easy to have a conversation about our worries. But I'm tired of these noises in my head. I want to forgive the part of me that is trying to keep me safe. The part of me that overanalyzes every little situation. And it's a way for me to survive in this crazy world. But I wasn't born a worrier. This is either something I copied off a family member or something I created myself. And while it has served its place for me, it's not helping me thrive anymore. I don't want to be the person who gets to me and to the end of my life wasting five years worrying. Maybe a part of me worries because I don't trust the universe. I don't trust that good things can happen. I'm skeptical. What if today I choose to believe good things can happen? The version of me without these worrying thoughts, how would they feel and act? They'd feel calm and peaceful. able to laugh at any thoughts that might cause worry. And instead of wasting time going over and over situations and conversations, I just focus on myself and my goals and desires. Perhaps I could put this energy somewhere else into art or creativity and every time I catch myself in a worrying spiral I acknowledge I say thank you for trying to help me But you're not helping me anymore. You're not benefiting my life. And so today I choose to reach for happy thoughts. Or at least a neutral thought. And I'm conscious of my thoughts. And when I hear the worrying chatter begin, I 
I stop and I reach for a new thought. Because I'm worthy of peace. I am worthy of feeling calm. Quite frankly, worrying is a waste of time. And time is a valuable asset. And I choose to spend it wisely today. And release the part of me that worries incessantly. Take a deep breath in and exhale. Let it go. You deserve a peace of mind, a calm mind. You deserve to feel good and you deserve the time back that you spend worrying about yourself, others, the world. It's not selfish to not worry. Just because somebody else is suffering doesn't mean you have to suffer too. And trust me, they wouldn't want you to suffer either. So go about, have a beautiful day. Remember to notice, switch it off, turn it off when it starts chatter chattering. Turn off the news for one, maybe come off social media for a little bit and see how you feel. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe. I'll give this video a thumbs up if you appreciated the sequence and I hope to see you in another video. Bye for now.